Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. I'm Weston Palmer. Let's get started. Welcome. Today's video is going to show you how to create a bar chart with a data table. I know in Excel it's fairly easy. In PowerPoint you can do it. And it's fairly easy in Tableau too. I just want to show you a couple of things that you might uh, have overlooked. So this is how I'm getting the data from the client. You can see I usually like to have the data in the upper left hand corner, get rid of the space, maybe get rid of the total, but I'm going to leave it just like this so you can see how Tableau handles it. So I've already pulled over the table. You can see the blank line has been removed and actually Tableau was smart enough to figure out where the column headers were. Now you can come to the sheet one and put the division here and you can have year one and even if you change this to discrete you start running into to problems because the headers aren't in the right place so you bring it down to total and the numbers just start I guess I should discrete you bring that down and you can do that except these are now headers and they're not columns so if you wanted to do any table calculation uh, change from number to number year to year you run into problems so let's go ahead and clear that and this is let's do show you the correct way of doing it and ideally this the client will give you the data in this fashion anyway I'm going to highlight the years and I'm going to right click and I'm going to show select pivot. Now I'm using it for years here, but if you had uh, like check marks for multiple, uh, if you had different categories across the top, maybe divisions across the top, you'd probably want to pivot that as well. So you can get all the divisions or all the, the different categories or dimensions into one field. And I'm just going to rename this year and rename this value. So now you can see they're all all the years are in the in the same column, which makes it much easier when you come over here. You bring the year, I mean the division, and now when you bring the year over, it doesn't have the values. It has the actual years as the column headers, which, which is what you'd expect and hope to see. So we're gonna bring the values, drop that under years, right? And I'm actually going to change this to dollars. All right, so now we've got the data, but we've got some more cleanup to do. We want to get rid of total, so I'm going to actually, you can right click and exclude. That'll do, puts it on the division, and if you look, if you edit the filter, instead of selecting the items that you want, there's this bar, box down here that says exclude, and it's saying exclude that. Um, we can do it that way. It may sometimes be more intuitive to do it this way. The other thing is that they had a specific order that they wanted. It was probably in dollar value, but just in case, we're going to come in here, we're going to do the sort, and select manual. You can do alphabetical, field is what I usually do. In some cases, such as this, I want to do manual. I think they had North America, South America, Asia, distribution, services, and warehouse. Let's just double check distribution warehouse services distribution warehouse services and of course if you grab one of those you can arrow up or take it to the top with this many it's really just as easy to grab it with the left click and move it around and so you can see it's in the right order next thing we want to do is analysis we're going to add totals we're going to add column grand totals and so there's that total line that we had before so let's call this data table and if you've watched enough of my videos, you'll know, at least on the walkthroughs, I always like to start with the data table so I have a good feel for what the data is looking like and what it's trying to tell me. So now let's create the bar chart. I'm going to call this bar chart. Basically doing the same thing, we're going to bring the division 
um, we want the year actually along the vertical axis. We're going to bring the value in the bars and we're going to grab the division and put that on color. Okay, that looks great. You'll notice that the, the order here is different and we still have total. So what I'm going to do actually, just to make sure, so I'm going to, under division, I'm going to select worksheets. I'm going to select the bar chart. So that's going to ensure, and you'll see there's a little bit of an icon here. It's supposed to have multiple worksheets. And that's to ensure, total is gone, that these two are aligned. Now the other thing I didn't do, under the data table I did the sorting there. If I would have come under here under the division and default sort, now every time I bring over division, it's going to sort in the same way. So now I'm going to do with the arrows, arrow to the top, arrow to the top, and then arrow down, Asia. We'll leave, we'll put total at the bottom, and I can't remember, I'm sorry. Distribution Warehouse Services. Okay, we'll X close. So now that is in the same sorting order. Now the way you get the, them together, we're going to come to the dashboard. We're going to create a new dashboard, and I'm just going to leave it as dashboard. Um, so I'm going to add a vertical uh, container. Now I'm going to drop a bar chart on top. Legend's not there anymore. Now I'm going to bring the horizontal on the bottom. So it's actually on the bottom. When you when it shows up big like that, that means it's tiled. And I want I said I wanted on the in the side of the container. And now I'm going to bring the data table over. And let's do legend. I mean the layout. So now you've got the vertical. If you select it, you can see the whole thing is selected. Inside that vertical, we've got a bar chart on the top, and on the bottom we have a horizontal container with the data table. Now, I said I wanted space on both sides, so I'm going to grab a blank spot, and on the bottom, you can see that horizontal container is highlighted, and it's a thin gray bar. That's telling me where I'm going to drop the blank container. So I'm going to just drop it there, and I don't, I want it to a little bit more centered, so I'm going to grab the edge and pull it over. I'm going to hide that title. So now you say, well that's great, but I don't know which is North America. I could hover over it, but what if I want to take a snapshot or maybe I just want to see what the color is. I want the legend back. Well, one thing that we're going to do is we're going to actually add the, uh, we're going to highlight this under analysis you can do legends color legend for division and you can grab this box and you can drag it and now you're inside this container with that little gray thing that little gray bar and it tells you where you're going to drop it and I'm going to drop it there now I don't necessarily like how that lines up so we're going to try one other thing to see if this works going to create a new sheet. I'm going to bring the division over. We're going to make it a square. So those are all squares. And you'll notice that the the order here is uh, because I set the default, you've got that order in the same area. Same, It's the same order, sorry. We're going to bring the division over to color now. And those colors are going to be added. I'm going to actually, and now let's come back to the dashboard. Let's get rid of this for now. I've got this sheet three. I'm going to drag that and drop that over here. So we're going to get rid of this. We're going to delete that container again. We're going to hide the title. We don't want that services there, I mean that total. So let's come back to sheet two. We're going to exclude this, and that's fine for now. The other thing that we should probably do is actually let's do it that way. 
is so that it's always linked. We're going to come to Apply Worksheets to Select Worksheets. So it's always linked. So if anything changes, it's there. Now it's not um, there's a, it's there's a, it's not linked up. It's not set the right way. So if we get rid of this, we don't need this. Now everything is kind of aligned, right? So as you come through. And actually, maybe let's just do that. Let's see what that does. Let's show. OK, you have to keep that there. But if you had multiple years, you can now come across and you can see, oh, OK, North America, South America, and services is over here. It's not quite lined up. This is probably more than this video was intended to do. But if you come under borders, let's see here, borders, I think that's rows, the row divider, get rid of that on pane. And it's not as noticeable that it doesn't line up. All right, there you go. Bar chart with a data table. Thanks for watching. Hope you found that video helpful. Hit subscribe and the bell so you get notified when I release new videos. And check out my other videos to learn even more about Tableau.